What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today we got to get rid of a couple cars. My fleet has gotten too big and I need to downsize. So let's go take a look at what's going up for sale. I've had several people trying to get this off of me. I mean, I've had countless emails, including Sam Crack. He wanted this as well, but this one is already spoken for. I've got tags on it. This thing is, is ready to go and it's going to be out of here in just a few days. This one, we still have some work to do. I want to try to get the brakes fixed and maybe get some windows in it, and I don't know. The Impala SS, I said I wasn't going to get rid of it. I think I am. I, I think this is going to go up on the chopping block next. I only paid like 2000 bucks, 22 I don't remember what it was. It was probably under $2,500. I'll probably send this one down the road. We did some work to it. It runs and drives great now. It's, an, it's a great driver car, and... You know, I don't know. This will probably be going down the road soon, so stay tuned. But this is absolutely going down the road. This is going up on Copart right now. Next on the list, the Mustang GT. I bought some lights for it, you know, some tail lights and some headlights. I'll be honest with you, I don't, I don't think I'm going to put them in. I don't think I'm going to do anything with this. It's just been sitting here. I'm really not that interested in this car anymore. So I'm probably going to send this down the road very, very soon. The, what is this? I, I don't even remember. A 99 Ford Taurus SHO, the V8, the Yamaha 3.4 liter V8. This is coming up for sale right now. So this one and the Thunderbird are the two that are going to be for sale in this video. We, of course, still have the Crown Vic. There's still some work to get done to this, and I'll probably get rid of that one as well. I said I was going to hold on to my little Sunbird. Um, I overpaid on this significantly. This was... Uh, this was a bad investment on my part. Um, we do have a little bit of work to do to this. Um, last time I drove it, which was, yeah, I don't even know. It's probably been sitting over a month. Most of these cars just kind of sit here. Um, this one I'm probably going to go ahead and sell, and I'm just going to take an L on it because I'm not going to do anything with it. I will try to get it running right. I, I don't even remember what was wrong with it, if anything. Last time I remember moving it and putting it here, it seemed to run and drive fine. It's got cold air conditioning, the convertible top works, power windows work, like everything works. But I think it had bad gas in it when we first picked it up from, I don't remember, I don't even remember where I bought it from. I just know that I've got like $3,500 into this car and I'm gonna be sending this one down the road for sure. The Escalade. Uh, this is another one that, yes, we're going to send it down the road. I bought a couple things for it. I've got a new instrument cluster. We're going to put that in in a video. I've got center caps, some generic, not actual factory center caps because they were expensive. But I've got some Chinese knockoff center caps that we'll throw on it. I think that'll make it look a whole lot better. And then we'll clean it up. And that's it. I, I think we're going to send this one down the road. I only paid like 800 bucks for this thing, I think. Like, out the door? I don't even remember. I, most of these cars I've just forgotten about. So, why don't we start with making sure these cars run? Um, these cars have not been started in, in a long time, guys. Uh, they just sit here. We'll start with the SHO. Hopefully, it's got power. It does. It does have power. And let's see if it wants to start. I really hate getting rid of my cars. I love buying them. I hate selling them, mainly because I, I lose money when I sell them. I pay too much for them because I want them and then I can't sell them for what I've got into them. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Wow. Actually runs really well. Listen to that. See a little bit of smoke just condensation. Uh, you may notice I'm wearing my jacket. It's rather cold today and it's going to just keep getting colder here in Oklahoma. Yeah, just condensation. Sounds good. Uh, this is another one. All the windows work. It's got the mock stereo system. It's got the sunroof. It works as well. See, everything works like it's supposed to. Tinted windows. Transmission shifts like it should. The cam gears, I do believe, are, are welded in this one. Um, and at 150,000 miles, they better be because uh, these things didn't make it to 150,000 miles without welded cam gears. Oh man, that's that's awful. Let's get all that get all that out of there, man. That looks really bad. There we go. Yep, I'm putting this one up on Copart to 
today. So if you're seeing this video, well, it's up for sale. I actually listed this before, and if I remember right, it only did like $1,800, and I was just like, man, no. There's no way I'm gonna do $1,800 on it, and, and there still isn't, guys. Uh, I want three grand for this car. Like, I, I really want three grand for this car. So we're gonna put it up at Copart. We're gonna see what it does. It's got good tires. It runs great. It drives great. We're not gonna go through a uh, another will it drive video. We're not gonna take it and go 10 miles in it or anything like that. It comes with a, well, it comes with a bunch of CDs, a CD changer, a shop manual, it's probably seen better days, but a shop manual nonetheless. And then this book, it's got a bunch of information in it. Wiring diagrams, schematics, pictures of the engine. I had a lot of people say, uh, this does not prove that the cams were welded. And I agree with you, I agree. This does not prove that the cams were welded, but when they do the cams on these, generally, they take the valve covers apart and uh, they clean them, they put new gaskets, they do the intake as well. And if you look, you've got exhaust manifold gaskets here, you've got intake gaskets here, and you can see where it was clearly completely taken apart. Unfortunately, they didn't, they didn't tell you what they did. It's also got drilled and slotted uh, rotors. Um, I was looking to see, maybe you can see where a cam gear was welded. I mean, they obviously took a picture of it. The cylinder heads look really good. Um, but yeah, you know, honestly, I cannot say that the cam gears were welded. I, I, I wish I could, but I cannot say that. All I can tell you is that at 155,218 miles, this thing had some pretty serious work done to it. And, you know, there we go. This comes with the car as well. It'll be left in the back. You can hear it runs perfectly. It's a great driver quality car. And it's got 158,000 miles on it right now. So it had 155. It's only got 3,000 miles on it since it had a bunch of work done to it. I'm going to clean up these leaves. We're going to take it just for a quick drive. We're not going to go 10 miles or anything with it. We've I've driven this car all over the place. There's no reason to go uh, the full 10 mile run on it. But we're, we're going to take it just for a quick drive, make sure everything is still good, and then we're going to get this thing up on Copart's website. All right, we're going to take it for a quick rip. There was a check engine light on the dash and it was for a canister purge or an evap small leak so yeah i cleared the code we'll see what happens if it comes back or not um i've driven it 162.8 miles i mean i actually did put some miles on this thing we got roxy sitting over there let's take this thing on a little rip it also comes with over half a tank of gas that's got to be worth, what, at least $100? No, I'm kidding. It's not worth $100, guys. I'm just, I'm exaggerating. Where are you going, Roxy? You heading out of here? She doesn't know what she's doing. All right. Let's, uh... Ooh. It definitely seems like it's gotten some more power since I put fresh gas in. Obviously, this car sat for years, guys. Like, this car sat for years. Um, it's only had a few thousand miles put on it since it had a lot of engine work done. So I'm certain that this thing sat with uh, the gas just kind of rotten in it. Yeah, it's still slow. <laughs> I, I, I was kind of excited for a minute. I was like, wow, it, no, no, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's still slow. Surprisingly though, there's not much as far as rattling or clunking or anything that you would expect from one of these kind of old school American made cars. It's it's relatively quiet. It drives straight, it's smooth, it's comfortable. Um I think for the money, you're going to you're going to be hard pressed to find something better and more unique. This is a bizarre car and it takes a special kind of person to want it. Believe me, I understand that because I am I am that special kind of person. <laughs> it takes it takes kind of an oddball to be like, "Yes, I want a Ford Taurus." Shifts good, but it is slow. <laughs> it is 
it is very slow but it pulls it does it it pulls it it does great horn works air conditioning works heat works radio works windows work like that honestly it's a great car it just it needs to go somewhere where somebody's actually going to drive and this is the problem that i run into every time i buy a new car like the two that i've got sitting right there a monte carlo ss and a grand national you know i'm going to end up running into the same problem with those i have great intentions when i buy these cars the problem is they just get parked they end up just sitting and honestly it's sad and just like that we made it back to the house and it's on copart um not for sale as of the making of this video which today is friday but this video should come out sunday and i'd be willing to bet that by sunday this will probably be up for bids so there it is one down I hate to see it go. I, I, it's a fun car, but like legitimately, I will not drive this. I, I've, I've driven it. I had fun with it, and then I put it away. And that's the fate of every one of the cars that I end up buying that I think I'm going to enjoy and play with. I park them. They end up sitting here, and they're going to rot. And that's not fair to the cars. So if, I, if I'm not going to take them and enjoy them, I want to get rid of them. And hopefully somebody out there will buy them. It's actually going to use them. And that brings us to the next car. I believe this is a 2003 Ford Thunder Chicken. It's a good car. It's another one that's, it really is a decent car and it doesn't deserve to sit here. It, you guys saw the video, like we did a burnout. The thing's got relatively low miles. It's got good tires, the convertible top works. And I know a lot of people are going to say, are you including the hard top? You know, I think the first run into the auction, I'm not going to. Um, it's got power. There you go. It still has power. This one's another one. It's just it's been sitting. It hasn't moved. Um, I don't think I'm going to include the hardtop in the first run through the auction. If it sells, it sells great, and I'll sell the hardtop separately. If it doesn't sell, or if somebody comes back and is like, "Hey, man, I've got to have that hardtop," then I'll go ahead and include it um, as long as it brings what I'm looking for it to bring. And honestly. I don't know what this car is worth, unfortunately. I really don't. Um, we'll find out if it wants to start. Because like I said, these things just, they sit here. Fired right up. No warning lights on the dash, hopefully. Nope, nothing. Just a, just a decent running car. Boy, I had the, had the air conditioning cranked up there didn't i we could turn that off today is not a day we need air conditioning One hundred and three thousand miles on the odometer convertible top works like a charm we'll go ahead and open it i mean it opens fast look at that that's a wrap and then windows you've only got two of them both of them go down like they're supposed to and just like that you've got yourself a convertible Rear wheel drive, V8, just good, kind of old school. It's an interesting car because it's it's got a modern look to it, but it's that old school rear wheel drive, V8 in the front type of car. Yes, the radio works, heat works, air conditioning works, everything works, guys. Hey, Roxy, you're the only thing that doesn't work around here. You take food, you take water, but you don't do anything. Then you crap all over the yard, right? Yeah, it's a beautiful girl. It's a beautiful girl. Trunk, I mean, I don't know what you want from in here. There's, I don't even think this has a spare, does it? Heck, I don't. There we go, let's find out. It does, it does have a spare. Does it have air? <laughs> yeah, some. And looks like it's got some tools under it. Battery's dated 5 of 22. Not too shabby, guys. I'll pop the hood for you real quick. Yeah, yeah. Ding, 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 ding. We get it. How do you pop the hood on this? Traction control button is right there if you want to do burnouts. It does some uh, smoky one-wheel peels. Wheels look good. It's got Iron Man tires. Uh, I brought it in here because i got to clean off the writing, off the windows. Whoa. Um, okay, hood struts are bad. But listen to this thing purr, man. It doesn't smoke. It doesn't leak. 
neither does the Taurus. It doesn't smoke or leak anything either. Just a, just a good car, you know, a little bit cosmetically challenged. It's not perfect. It's got a few dings and it's got the crow's feet going on, primarily on the hood is where you see the majority of that at, but just a damn good running and driving car, man. It really is, all the lights work, signals, all that stuff. Um, I'm gonna put this up for, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna put it up for eight grand and see what happens. Um, I don't expect that it's gonna bring eight, but I'm gonna hope. I'm gonna hope that I can get $8,000 out of it. If I can, great. If not, we'll see what happens at the auction. Of course, we do have the, uh, the roof still here. Like I said, it hasn't gone anywhere. It hasn't been dinged or damaged or anything like that. It's just sitting on this stand. The problem is, the problem that I have with this is, if someone wants the roof in the stand, are you gonna come out here and get it? Or do I need to throw it all back on the car? Because I, unless I can find somebody to help me, Put that heavy roof back on this car that's that's not gonna happen i was barely able to get it off by myself there's no way i'm gonna be able to put it on by myself but we'll figure it out if you've got to have the roof get a hold of me auto auction rebuilds at gmail.com i'll get somebody out here to help me put the roof back on it and put that stand back in the trunk but for the purposes of the uh the auction i'm just gonna leave the roof off of it by now you've got my email address you can definitely shoot me an email I'm going to clean up the windshield, get the dollar sign and the writing off. We're going to take it for a quick drive up the street and back, and we're going to put it up for sale. Now, if you guys ever wonder what I use to get that, that chalk writing off of the windows, it's really easy, guys. Carb cleaner and a, a rag. Like, I use uh, paper towels and carburetor cleaner. And just be careful not to get it on the paint, of course, but put a little bit on the, on the rag or on the uh, paper towel, then spray just a little bit of it on there, let it just kind of soak in for three to five seconds and start wiping it off you do that two or three times comes off super super easy gonna back out gently there's a bit of a ledge here and the front tires there we go all right let's take this one for a let's take this one for a little run i should probably put my seat belt on just up the street back man this this thing's got a lot more power than the taurus that's all I can say. You know, I drove the Taurus and it's like, yeah. And then you drive this one and it's uh, it's a bit more powerful. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, oh, the smell of rubber. <laughs> it's a bit more powerful, guys. It's a. Uh, it's a fun car. I mean, it's not crazy powerful or crazy fast, but man, it's good enough. It's an interesting looking car. It's another one that kind of takes an oddball because this car is not a fan favorite uh, of many, but um, it's one of mine. It is. I, I actually really enjoy this car and I don't drive it, but occasionally when I do, I love it. <laughs> I do. It's such a, such a quirky, strange car very oddball engine too like a three 3.9 liter v8 and it gets it man i mean it it does it has no issue getting out of its own way just give it the beans and there she goes man no warning lights steering is good brakes are good this is a, this is another good car Man, I don't want to get, and I already know it's not going to bring what I want. I already know that. You got the Pioneer with Sirius XM built in. You got the Bluetooth wireless. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and get some pictures of it. We'll get it up for sale because it's got to go. I, I've got to get rid of all of these cars, and I bet you guys are wondering why. Well, let me pull over, and, and I'll tell you why. It's because I'm going to buy even more cars yeah that's that, that's actually the truth i'm gonna buy i'm gonna buy more cars and if you're wondering why well because this is what i do guys I, I hold on to these things for months like i really do they stick around and then they just sit and then eventually i gotta get rid of them it's approaching quickly quickly approaching the end of the year which means tax time that means i need to spend about another seventy thousand seventy five thousand dollars before the end of the year so 
that's what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to sell all of these cars that are sitting on my lot doing nothing and bring in about $75,000 worth of new content to the channel. Crossing my fingers, that's what I'm looking to do. I haven't decided if I'm going to go back and buy a bunch of old cars that are cheaper and have a bunch of them or just a couple three cars that are more expensive and newer. I really don't know what I'm going to do yet. So what I want you guys to do is drop a comment down below this video and tell me what you want to see. Do you want to see more of the old school like 80s, 90s, maybe some early 2000s vehicles, maybe some even older? Or would you rather see some newer stuff, maybe some new Mercedes or newer BMWs? I don't know. I mean, I've got about 75 grand to spend once I clear out my lot. So we can really buy whatever we want. All I need to know is what is it you actually want to see? And just like that, the 2002 Ford Thunderbird is listed as well. Like I said, today's Friday, I'm filming the video. By Sunday, I fully expect these will be up for bids with hopefully an auction date early to mid next week. So if you want the uh, the lot numbers, or you just want to click it, it'd be easier. The link is below the video to both of these cars. You can just click it, it takes you straight to them. But if you want the lot number, for the Thunderbird, it is 743-50463. 743-50463. If you want the lot number for the Ford Taurus SHO, it is 743-42943. 743-42943. But like I said, you can just click below the video. There's a link to both of them. And you can just go check them out that way. I hate to see them go, but like I said, we got some new stuff that we got to bring to the channel, and I'm going to let you guys drop your comments below and tell me what you're wanting to see, and I'll do my best to bring something entertaining and fun to the channel. There they are. One last walk around. The two of them are together, plus I needed a thumbnail. So, ooh, look at this. I didn't even realize I stepped in this. Look at these guys. Oh, they're pissed. Yeah. You might want to stay away from them. Um, fire ants. They will, uh, they will tear you up. <laughs> they will tear you up something fierce. So there they are, the two of them together. The Thunderbird, the Ford Taurus, SHO. Uh, drop your comments below, Tim, what you think. Relatively short video, just wanted to get these things out there. So if any of you are interested, you can bid on them. So with that, I think we're done. With that, I want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to watch my videos. Without you, I couldn't do what I do, so thank you. I mean it. Thank you very much for making this all possible. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.